Is this what freedom looks like? Am I free? So we have to see ourselves as free people. Be free. Voices. All I've been hearing lately are voices. Voices that condescend. Voices that criticize. Voices that echo the same stigmas. But there is a voice more powerful than the adverse one. A voice that trumps the unfavorable. I'm ready to die for my freedom, for my democracy. Diane is ready to take a stand. I will demand full service from any lunch counter where I spend my money. Frederick Douglass said, power concedes nothing without a demand. It never has and never will. For us, what is the demand? I have to find freedom. Am I not an American citizen? This system is not equal. Hey girl, you head to campus? What's wrong with you? Nothing. I'm just tired. A little hungry, but mostly tired. Tired of the segregation, the Jim Crow, the lynchings? It has to stop. Like, it has to stop. I'll make it stop. Okay. Um, sick and tired of what? Oh, I know what you're sick and tired of. Walking into old, raggedy, racist places like this. Yeah, I'm tired. Tired of being ignored? Economically unappreciated? Do you know how much money I spent in that raggedy racist store? Girl, if I had all that money right now, I'd open up my own store for all those couple of Wait, is that John? Yeah. I'll be right back. I have to get something to eat. I'm gonna get you something to eat. Diane, what are you doing? That's not for us. They'll put us in jail. I think they're gonna let them leave. Shit. You know what? Just build some bases. Can I get one order of a chicken biscuit, please? No more chicken. God damn it! Those niggers! Oh, damn, right? This counter's for Watts only. Leave or the cops can escort your ass to jail. Ain't no more chicken anyway. Sir, I'm hungry and I want something to eat. I want service. I mean, I want service. Leave, nigga, you're scaring the customers. Sister, listen, Diane. I really believe you struggle, believe me, I do. I, I'm guilty of the same passion, but not now. Not right now. Come on, let's go. Let's go now. The mob is on the way. You should see what they did to the last nigga who stood up here trying to desegregate these counters. This counter right here is gonna stay wide. I suggest you leave. Don't think about coming back. Mm-hmm. Places like that are racist. I mean, what we need, uh, they are gonna take defensive action. Their segregation is of the worst kind. I can't take it. There needs to be a change. That, that will be difficult, but if not us, then who? If not now, then when? You offering? Before anybody changes anything, we need to get you some food. Come on, girl. I got some chicken in my room. I am. But I'm only one man. 
I count two women and one man. I'm sure if we plan and just put our thoughts together and assume direct action, I know our numbers will grow. I know it. You That's inspired true. me from across the room. So change that count. Three women and one man. This may only be a dream of mine, but I think that it can be made real. Welcome aboard, sister. Remember, if we organize, plan, assume direct action, our numbers will grow and we will succeed. strong leaders. Even if segregation is gone, we will still need to be free. We will still need to make sure that everyone has a job. Even if we all can vote. But if people are still hungry, we will not be free. Singing alone is not enough. We'll need schools and learning. And remember, we're not fighting for the freedom of the Negro alone, but for the freedom of the human spirit. A larger freedom that encompasses all of mankind. I totally agree, Ella. My father was a slave. My people died to build this country. I'm gonna stay right here. I'm gonna have a part of it just like you, and just like every American citizen, because I demand full citizenship in this country. No facet-minded people are gonna drive me from this land. So here I stand, is that clear? But racism is so universal in this country, so widespread and deep-seated, that it is invisible because it is so normal. You don't make progress by standing on the sidelines whimpering and complaining. You make progress by implementing ideas. I agree. We must give up this silly notion are waiting on God to do everything for us. If he intended that, he would not give us a mind. Whatever we want in life, we will put to our mind and take action. And I tell you, one thing alone is that I charge you. As you live, believe in life. Always human beings will live in progress to greater, broader, and full of life. The only possible death is to lose belief in the truth simply because its great ends come slowly. Because time is long. I have a great belief in the fact that chaos creates wonderful people. I consider chaos a gift. I agree. But the way to right wrongs is to turn the light of truth upon them. The matter came up for judicial investigation, but as might have been expected, the white people concluded that it was unnecessary to wait the results of the investigation. That it was preferable to hang them first and try them afterwards. So transform yourself first, because you are young and have dreams and want to do something meaningful. That in itself makes you our future and our hope. Keep expanding your horizon. Decolonize your mind and cross borders. Unless we have this understanding of ourselves and understanding of other people, then there is really no other way that we can have a positive kind of interaction where there is real understanding. See, I had 
reasoned this out in my mind. There was one or two things I had a right to. Liberty or death. For if I could not choose one, I would choose the other. For no man should take me alive. Well said, sister. Well, I'm for truth, no matter who tells it. I'm for justice, no matter who it is for or against. I'm a human being first and foremost, and as such, I'm for whoever and whatever benefits humanity as a whole. If you are scared or medically have a weak heart, then nonviolent direct action is not for you. I suggest another way you find yourself to get involved. How are they going to know what we want if we don't tell them? Wait, what other way is there? I know some people supply support, but... Don't discredit all those that can help you from the sidelines. Some must think about protecting their own children and their own families. Others have other things to do. Better work from the inside. We all have an integral part to play in this freedom movement. What do you suppose we do if they hit us? And that thing you told me to say to her earlier? I don't think I'm comfortable saying that. This is not a time for compassion, Ralph. Show no morals. John, remain resistant. Remain stoic. Remain humbly defiant. How long do we have to stay silent? What are we waiting on? As long as it takes. Hours, days, months. It has to resonate. We have to be steadfast and sit it until all public areas in the South are desegregated. We have at least five waves of students who are ready for the ultimate sacrifice, death, and the inconvenience of jail. Young men and young women, are you ready for the revolution? I'm ready. Power to the people. Power, Power to, to the, the people. people. We will not allow people to prevent us from being people who have self-determination, who are human beings. The most important thing Malcolm X ever said. We declare our right to be a human being. In this society, on this day, on this earth, Nobody can take that from us. We can only give it to them. Right? So as long as we remember that, nobody, doesn't matter how many times the police attack us, they cannot take away our humanity unless we give that to them. And what I'm seeing is our refusal to give it to them, our resistance to them trying to take it from us. They don't understand that yet. They cannot beat us. They have not in centuries, and they will not today. Yeah, uh, that's so simple echo digress is uh, it's basically pointing out each level, you know, it's 
just been happening. So like I'm tired of these efforts. So I'm hoping that maybe we can come up with some solutions to uh, to not be so uh, dependent in a sense on how society moves us. Two of the areas that I come from, it's a system just like this a racial system against us, we learn those same feelings of depression from the young age. So when we get to a point where we have our sons and our daughters, we want them to say, okay, be nice, talk well, do this, that, and third, but we don't fully believe that. Because when we leave that house, we don't know what's gonna happen to us. Every time a black man is shot by a police officer or call him by another white man, they bring up that fact right there. Black on black crime came to at their defense for doing the wrong to us. Instead of just owning up to it like, yeah, that police can talk to us. Stop finding out what the that we're doing. Right and just to hold up to it and talk about that. For instance, right now, the issue of police, that is a common interest that we stop the murder of our children. That we stop this kind of repressive pipeline that leads from elementary school into a lifelong you know, relationship with the prison system. Those are things that, across the board, just about any African American can coalesce around. We tap into that police academy because it's like the system has been trained against our community, the black community. Um, when we talk about, oh, the police will say, oh, um, I was, I feared for my life, so I used, I, shoot, I shot to kill. That was part of the protocol. I don't, there are so many other ways to handle these situations that are appearing in the media. It's a culture that we have to define and we have to stop allowing other people to tell us who we are.